Hi, I have just arrived to Söderham, where I'm going to perform tonight with a friend. And today we're going to talk about accessories you didn't think you'd need as a musician. But first, I've discovered that 82% of you that watch my videos haven't subscribed. It would really help me if you did. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Things to say, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. I was born ready, man. Rigging is something you normally don't look forward to. It often feels like a necessary evil so that you can perform or entertain in the evening. But even rigging is fun now after so long time not being able to perform. And of course, meeting friends that you have performed with earlier. Except for your instruments and stands and amps and pedal boards and things like that, what kind of accessories do you need when you're out performing music? If it's a rehearsal or a gig? Well, I always bring gaff tape because I can do so much with it. I can fix things, I can gaff tape cables to the floor, I can gaff tape sheet music on my stand, whatever, it's mandatory. Also bring extra cables. And I mean extra cables. Bring an extra cable for every cable that you use. Because they break. And you don't want to be on a gig where you don't have a cable for your guitar or keyboard or whatever it could be. And some kind of power distributor is also very good to have. Normally on stages they supply you with it, but if you're in a rehearsal, they don't. Bring power for your gear. For keyboard players, I really suggest you bring an extra sustain pedal because they also break and you don't want to play a gig without a sustain pedal, so bring one spare. And tape that you can write on, with a pen of course, you can do so many things with it. You can mark the mixing console, you can mark your gear, you can mark your cases, you can even mark a spot on the floor where the lighting is the best. Bring pen and paper for set list, writing down requests from the audience, whatever, just bring it. Jaran is coming up with some more tips for you when it comes to accessories you might need when performing music, so stay tuned for that. Rigged and going home to Jaran. For the final preparations for tonight's gig, which includes basically everything, which songs, <laughs> which key, how long, how short, which one of us is going to do what, uh, and who's responsible for everything. I'm not responsible. <laughs> yeah, I reckon, you know, in Sweden we say that shit always runs downwards, so it usually ends on me. Do you have an E? Then a verse and then a chorus and after the second chorus uh, Do I really feel the way I feel? It doesn't matter if a song is up tempo or not, it's about intensity. And the same song you can play in different times of the evening depending on what intensity you put into it. Of course. And now I'm going to do it in French. Uh, I, I, I hope Swahili. <laughs> I hope Swahili. Uh, is let, it, let, be, let it be. I don't know what it should be in French. I, je parle un peu français, man. Bleu, bleu, bleu. 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 Bleu, bleu, bleu.
call me the guy to love Some people call me Maurice, yeah Cause I speak The next day we traveled to Javla to perform at this place, a really cool place with beautiful surroundings and a river just outside of it. Let's see what Jaran have for accessories with him that you might not think that you need. One of the things uh, that are almost essentially now when you come of age like I have is uh, a chair. Uh, you never know when you can when you need them. Uh, if you come to a gig like this when we're supposed to do a piano sort of thing, it looks better when you're sitting down or maybe just when rehearsing and your back starts to ache and you can just have a rest. A chair. Uh, all right. The next thing. Uh, this is a uh, have to in our industry and business. A nice car. No, I'm just kidding. The uh, black fabric. Uh, in case you rip your shirt, so you can put them on like a toga sort of thing. No, I'm kidding. Just uh, to cover sort of things up on stage, so that it looks uh, nice. Uh, always focusing on age, but it can be Alzheimer's or drugs or whatever. But a good thing is to use an um, like uh, one of these for your for your iPad. It looks better than uh, you know one of those big old things that you used to put your sheet music on. But I would definitely recommend one of these. And if you are in a very boring band, you can do sort of Facebook or YouTube uh, while gigging. Next thing uh, is uh, a multi-tool. Uh, I don't care which you prefer, uh, Gerber, Victorinox, uh, Leatherman, whatever, but you're gonna need it. And if you haven't brought it like I haven't today, you're definitely gonna need it, but a multi-tool. And when the day became night, it was time for us to go to work. She's a good girl, yeah. loves her mama. Loves Jesus and America too. She's a good girl, crazy about Elvis. Loves roses and a boyfriend too. Normally we don't like being on a stage when we are performing and entertaining people like this, but we had a small but great audience. All right, the Swedish word for today is um, spring nuta. That is when you go into a pub or a restaurant and you order something and you don't pay for it, but instead you run away and hopefully do not get catched. 
Springnota. Springnota. Okej. Okay. Roger that. 